Hello, bonjour, guten tag, mahaba and namaste. Good day to you, trader. This is Maria from Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by a trader. Imagine that you know most tops and bottoms in the future and you know how to calculate them to get the results exact like this on the chart I've got over here in front of me. Very few of you who I shared my knowledge with via Skype know it already and applied it with success. And this is not only about finding the right points on the square of 9 or using mathematical formulas to calculate the future based on the square of 9 principles or eventually finding the right spot on position of the planets. You probably already know that a key to successful trading is deeper knowledge, not only few seemingly unrelated dates, it is a knowledge to put all these unrelated dates together and to apply them the right way. In today's video I will show you the first step you can do to find future extremes of the swing of many trading instruments. So let's start the rock and roll. The first step you should do when you are going to find the future turning points of the market you might consider using the square of 9 but not the regular one like this one. Let me just zoom it out a little bit. But it must be slightly modified. I've got in front of me over here Euro USD chart in this case and now I'll show you how you can what you can do with it to get your right turning points like this ones in time. Obviously this method and other few simple ones you can learn from my channel where most videos are related to time in trading. But if you like to go deeper into time analysis based on the square of 9 and the code hidden behind it, you might consider. You don't have to, but if you want to learn the secrets of WD Gun's square of 9, you might learn it on my private mentoring session via Skype. Send me an email for details, the address you'll find down below in the description section. Coming back to our subject, if you want to know what will be the next turning point in the future, the next turn of the market, you have to find an imported top and bottom or bottom first. So let me show you. I've got here this is an important top of uh, this is of September 1st 2020 which it's really important because the market just topped here made intraday high after this long rally which began on September on uh, May 18. So what you have to do you have to modify this square of 9 in such a way to get the right results. Let me show you what I mean by that. You go, I got prepared already here, my the square of 9, look, this is the square of 9, but instead of regular numbers, which you can see usually when we mark it like that, let me show you. So this is the regular square of 9, let's say it's the number 1 in the middle, and it will show you. So that's the regular square of 9. But you can modify it and put dates over here, what I did actually, and it shows 31st of December 99 is the first day of the square of 9 by Excel, the first date of Excel, whatever, don't worry about it. If you enter this date, the top of September 1st, 1st 9, 2020, bam, we've got it. So we got the starting point. And you might find, you might observe on some lines over here, it will show extreme regularity of the market. In this case, it went along 315 degree line. This one, when you go from zero point, like this line zero point going around, this is the 315 degree line corresponding to the square of nine. Let me show you about what I mean by that. The first date shows 9th of September, very harmonic one. So 9th of September was here, my friend. Sorry, this is 8, 9. 
that's the ninth. The next one was 15th of September. Let me just close my formula. So, no, sorry, it's 25th of September and this fall on. Let's check it. Where is it? It's somewhere here. I think this one is 25th of September. Look how regular is it. 19th of October is the next one, harmonic one. And when you look at it, 19, where is this 19? Here we go. 19 of October, it shows a local bottom. Another one, let's go here. 20th of November, does it show anything? Let's check it. November 20th is this one. This, the end of the, of this upswing from here to here. It is a regularity, not a big fall over here, but the market had a strong momentum, didn't want to go back. Otherwise, if the market weakened, it would go further this way. Next one is 30th of December, my friend. 30th of December, I think is this candle. Is this one, not this 31st. This is 30th. Just the end of this upswing with small correction, A, B, C, the C wave shown the, the change of direction. And over here, last but not least, 16 of February. You wouldn't believe that. 16 of February. It is somewhere over here. Recently, recently we are on February 19, 2020. And 16 was the date when the market made uh, this uh, two days correction or two days uh, downswing. So that's the way it might be used in the simplest possible way. I leave for you to check other days on the other side, on diagonals as well as on the cross. And if you want to know more details about the square of nine, more details on how to use the square of nine, as I said previously, I teach on my private mentoring sessions via Skype. If you want to know details, please drop me a line to the address below. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found some value in it and it will help your trading. I encourage you to view my other videos. Have a lovely time and great peeps, my friend. Bye-bye.